In today's video, I am going to explain why you tend to have pain on lateral part of hip and lateral part of knee. In first part, I am going to explain reasons with muscles. On second part, I am going to explain with biomechanical aspect. Let's get started from muscular aspect. I'm going to explain three muscles from this picture. This one is psoas. This one is iliacus. This one is tensor fascia lata. Tensor fascia lata. Let's say TFL. These three muscles are hip flexors. What is hip flexor? What is hip flexion? That is movement that you bring your leg up. It's like a running movement. It's like a walking movement. Hip flexion, you bring leg up. So, when you walk, when you run, psoas, iliacus, and tensor fascia lata are used. But here's problem. Psoas and iliacus are very deep muscle. Look at that. Psoas originates from deep part of abdomen. That is from lumbar spines. Iliacus, which you don't see in this picture, that originates from deep part of pelvis. Because they are deep, most of people don't know there are such a muscles deep to pelvis and abdomen. How come you can use this muscle if you don't know where they are? Thus, many people are not aware of there are muscles on deep part of body. Thus, when you run, when you walk, tensor fascia lata needs to work instead of psoas and iliacus. Does it make sense? Of course, there are a few other hip flexors, such as rectus femoris, sartorius, but they are kind of minor hip flexors. Because you are not aware of how to use psoas and iliacus, your tensor fascia lata needs to work more than it should be. That is problem. Then tensor fascia lata gets tight easily because this guy is doing too much work instead of other two muscles. What is problem? One thing is lateral part of hip tends to get tight because this muscle is on lateral part of hip. That makes sense. One more thing. If you follow myofascial connection from tensor fascial lata, that can go to all the way down to lateral part of knee. By the way, this connective tissue is called iliotibial band. Iliotibial band. This is thickest part of uh, fascia of thigh. Tensor fascia lata attaches to iliotibial band. If Tensor fascia lata gets tight, that pulls iliotibial band this way. Then, this tension can go to lateral part of knee. First step, you don't know how to use psoas and iliacus. Second step, tensor fascia lata needs to work too much. Third step, iliotibial band is going to lateral part of knee. Too much use of tensor fascia lata affects lateral part of hip and knee. Thus, you should know how to use psoas and iliacus not to put too much tension on iliotibial band. Does it make sense? Let's go back to first picture. This is tensor fascia lata here. This goes to lateral part of knee. This is hip flexor, right? Psoas and iliacus, they are also hip flexors, but they are too deep. Not many people are aware of there are such a muscles. Thus, you need to 
know how to use these two muscles. Well, this is fast aspect. Because you use tensor fascia lata too much, then you get a pain around lateral part of hip and knee. Then, let's go to biomechanical aspect. By the way, hip joint is here. Hip joint takes a lot of stress from walking, from standing up movement, from running, athletic movement. To be simple, there is compressive force on hip joint, like this. Of course, there's more detail, but this is the simplified version. There's compressive force on hip joint. And look at the structure of femur. It's not completely straight. There is a curving structure like this. Again, there is compressive force on hip joint. What about on lateral part of hip and pelvis? There is kind of a tensile force like this. There's compression on medial part. There is tension. There is tensile force to kind of uh, divide the force on hip joint. In this case, there's not too much tension on hip joint. Compressive force, tensile force. What kind of structures are there on lateral part? There is tensile fascia lata. There is iliotibial band. That is why iliotibial band is thickened compared to other part of thigh fascia. That makes sense. So, even though in normal situation, tensor fascia lata and iliotibial band gets a lot of stress because of structure of hip joint. It's easy to get tight. Plus, do you remember, not many people know how to use psoas and iliacus. Tensor fascia lata needs to work a lot. Then, what's gonna happen? There is more stress on lateral part of hip. That is problem. Then, this can lead to lateral part of knee pain. Thus, adequate use of psoas and iliacus are so important. Now, at last, let me add one more thing. Okay, you see new structure. This is gluteus maximus. Gluteus maximus. Do you remember? Tensor fascia lata attaches to iliotibial band. Gluteus maximus also attaches to iliotibial band. Thus, anterior part and posterior part of hip muscles attached to iliotibial band. If tensor fascia lata works too much, that creates tension on iliotibial band. Same thing, if your gluteus maximus is working too much, then your iliotibial band also creates a lot of tension. What's gonna happen there? There is tension, there is pain around lateral part of hip, thigh and knee joint. This myofascial connection and biomechanical pulse is so important to understand mechanics of lateral part of hip, thigh and knee. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. See you next video.